G'day folks, Johnny in Thailand again. Oh, my mouth's sort of starting to water a little bit because I see bananas, yeah. Yeah, they're almost ready to pick. They are first bananas for quite a while. There's some more over there, but they're not super good. And more over there, and they're not super good either, but those ones there are bloody great. <laughs> anyway. Bananas isn't what I wanted to talk about today, it was welders, or specifically my welder. It's a little uh, inverter arc welder. I've got two. One's an arc welder, TIG welder combination, but I've never used a TIG, so I've got no idea whether the TIG works properly or not. One would hope so. Uh, but we, we have problems here with heat. Everything gets hot. Uh, and I decided I would get some thicker section heavy duty cable. This is 8 metre length of cable which is 50 millimetre square cross section. And I think I've got it there. Yep, 50 millimetre. And it's going to be much better. I like to leave the welder up on the, on the bench when I'm welding so I don't actually kick it over or drop something on it so eight meters of uh, welding electrode cable uh, that's going to be great the electrode holder itself is good for 400 amps and i think the cable is good for 500 but i don't have that it's only 200 amp welder but still that that'll run uh four millimeter rods just you can't run two in a row it's just not possible with the heat the machine just can't handle it uh, I put four meters of the same size cable on the, uh, the earth clamp and uh, had to put new fittings on. Uh, you know, being a big deal, the new fittings are easy to do if you've got an annular cutter to make the holes. Because there's already a hole there to start with, with the old small fittings, which use that size, that size part. You can see there. Big difference there. Big, big difference. Uh, yeah, so you can do the hole with annual cutter. Mine left a little bit of burring on it uh, on the on the hole, so I just cleaned up with a round file. Uh, on the inside, there's a little on this piece of the plastic that you can see on the front. Uh, it's got a little uh, mail section there. You have to grind out, you have to grind out uh, a section here with a file, square file, triangular file, triangular file, or whatever you got, round file. Just don't make it too big. This one was a perfect fit. Just psh, that one I filed about three strokes too much and just got the slimiest bit of slop in it. But these uh, these fittings are the ideal fittings because it's matching the cable. Uh, these other little fittings, you just can't do it. I tried to get the the uh, the cable in there and uh, just wasn't satisfactory. So I decided to change all the fittings around. I've got enough fittings here for the other welder. Now that I've proved this one's going to work okay after I did the conversion, I'll do the other one. And uh, yeah, I've got spare fittings just in case the chinese company on aliexpress sent this one to me and it was broken i don't know if they knew it was broken but i've just bogged it up with a bit of uh, epoxy to two-part epoxy it's been sprayed matte black it's fine for what i'm gonna do i'm not too worried about it they gave me pump refund so I didn't really lose on the deal. Paid for the epoxy three times over. <laughs> and I still got most of it there. Uh, yeah, so I've got those extra fittings, extra females. There's some extra black, black plastic fittings. Uh, so it's all good. I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, like I haven't welded with four millimeter rods yet. That's only a 2.6. But it all came good. I was happy. And now I've got plenty of cable and this old, I don't know, 
got no idea what uh, diameter wires inside it. It might be mm, 20 millimeter squared or even smaller. That came with the welder. Um, and they've got a crappy, crappy welding electrode clamp. So I can just toss these in the spare parts department, which is over there behind me, and uh, maybe never have to use them again. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought I'd update you with that. Um, I'm having a pretty good day so far. Um, hope you do too. Bye now.